Hello everyone, now let's access the home page of the wireless LAN controller by typing our service port IP into our web browser. Here we log in by clicking login. This is the dashboard page where we do monitoring in the wireless LAN controller, we will go to the advanced page and make our settings there, now I click on the advanced tab. This is the home page of our device, you can see here that our device supports 200 access points. First, let's configure the DNS settings of our wireless LAN controls, then let's make NTP settings, and after making NTP settings, let's start creating our interfaces. First, by clicking on the controller tab, let's write the DNS IP of our wireless LAN controller in the DNS server section at the bottom, I write 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. If you have a corporate structure, you can type the DNS server IP address you use. Let's apply here. From here I come to the NTP tab, select server, and from here I add a new NTP server saying new. I write the IP of my default router here. Our NTP server will be our default router. When I say apply, we are adding our NTP server. Now let's go to the bottom of the command tab and adjust the time zone settings here. Here we come to set time. Here we have the time zone as the time zone we choose plus 3. Here we enable it by saying set time zone, and finally here we save our settings by saying save configuration. After setting up DNS and NTP, let's go to the controller tab and start creating our interfaces. We come to the interface tab. Where you can see our management interface, it uses VLA and 20. The IP address is also 192168201254. Here we have the service port, the IP of which is 192168101254. It does not have any VLA in. Here you can see our virtual IP address. I said that we will use this IP address for roaming. Here we create a new interface by clicking on the new tab. We will use these new interfaces in the SIDs we will publish. We will create VLAN30, VLAN40, and VLAN50. We make the VLAN ID 30 and call it Apply. We choose which port this interface will use, we have one port, so I choose one here. I give the IP 192.168.30.254 for this interface. Let's write our subnet mask and default router. Let's write the DHCP server IP address here, I am writing the default router IP here because we also use our default router as a DHCP server. We save our settings by saying apply. Now let's come back by clicking on the back tab, where you can see the interface we created. Let's also create VLAN40 and VLAN50 in the same way. Now that we've made our interface, DNS, and NTP settings, that's all we're going to do in this lesson, so goodbye to see you in our next lesson.